of the coastal region for development. More than 18 leaders have accused the current and past regimes of oppressing the locals. But the question is, what do the locals feel about this new proposal? Well, Francis Mtalaki reports from Mombasa. The leaders from the opposition led by Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joho and his Kilifi counterpart Amazon Jeffa Kingi resolved to initiate a process of self-determination that they claim it is for the benefit of the coastal people. It is no longer feasible for us as a people to continue in a country that does not recognize our aspirations as legitimate. We've already engaged lawyers, both locally and internationally. Na ukiangalia hivi kwa miaka 20, zaidi ya miaka 20 na mitano, mpwana amepiga kura ya rais. Lakini hakuna siku moja kura ile ilimpatia majibu ambayo anataka. However, former secessionist group MRC has faulted the move by the leaders to revive the debate, saying they are dishonest and self-centered. Sisi atutumi uh, uh, any illegal means. Hautuwezi kuenda rutu hiyo. Tutaenda kwa njia ya sheria ya ki taifa na ya ki mataifa. So hiyo story ya kulink us to any other group that won't work. Tunajua wazi kwa mba changamoto zilizo mbele yetu ni nyengi na ni kubwa. In 2008, little known about the separatist group Mombasa Republican Council found a place in the public climate with the infamous secessionist call, Pwanisi Kenya, to mean coast was not part of Kenya. But what do the locals feel about this move? Katika hii region ya Pwani, yiko na rasi limali kubwa, kwa hivyo tukijitenga, tuko na ile potential ya kujitawala sisi wenye. Tuataka nini? Tuataka kuhukumu? au tutataka endele shanchi mapwani ningependa wajitenge hata hivi sasa hivi ndugu yangu tumechelewa sana tumenyanyaswa sana tumelaliwa sana kwa muda miaka mingi sana tena what we are telling you at some point we shall be able to achieve this uh, this dream the leaders say that they will use all legal means both local and international to achieve the ambition and it doesn't matter how long this will take. Francis M. Talaki, KT News, Mombasa.